Hi everyone, Metal Breakdown here. So, uh, first thing I want to talk about, if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, see more personal stuff, just uh, use that username right up there uh, on Instagram and you'll find me really easily. That would be nice if you could follow me, I don't know. I'm just promoting my stuff, right? Anyway, that's not the point of this video. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this today is to uh, do some really quick reviews of all the albums that came out in the last like three weeks uh, because there were so many metal albums uh, that were released during that period. Uh, and it sucks that I was not able to make like an, in an individual review for all of them like I originally planned to. But if you saw my uh, three previous videos, you know it's a tough time for me right now. So I was not really into reviewing stuff. Now I'm feeling better. Uh, and even though I did not uh, review them, I still listen to all of them quite a lot for most of them. So uh, in this video, I'll just review uh, six albums that were released in early August. Uh, because a lot of you asked me what I thought about this, these albums. So. Uh, that's my chance to tell you everything you need to know about them. Uh, so yeah, I'll try to maybe do around 2 minutes per album. Maybe it will be a bit more or a bit less, but I'll try to stick around that just so the video won't be that long. So anyway guys, let's do this for uh, the review of 6 albums that were released earlier this month. Yeah. So, uh, for the reviews, I'll just go in order in which they were released. So, we have four albums that were released uh, on the 2nd of August. So, the first one I'm going to talk about is the one I know, like, the less. And it's uh, World War X by uh, Carnifex. Uh, to be honest with you guys, it's the only album I listened to only once. And the only time I listened to it was this morning while doing my workout. Uh, but it really pushed me hard. Uh, I ran uh, for the entirety of the, reco the record, I was just like pump and super hype. Uh, it's a really great one. Uh, the singles, I listened to them uh, many times, but yeah, I think my favorite song from that new album would probably be the last one of it. That's really the one that like really uh, touched me the most. It's called By Shadows Till Hell, so it was really great. Uh, other than that, I really love World War X and uh, No Light Shall Save Us, but there's no really any bad songs on this album. Like I said, it really pushed me throughout my training, uh, and I had so much fun listening to this one. Also, I saw uh, Carnifex live for the first time like two weeks or three weeks ago at Heavy Montreal. Uh, they played a short set, but it was so incredible on a smaller stage. I had so much fun watching it and yeah, it was a blast. So, uh, especially after that album, if Carnifex come back to, come back to uh, Montreal, I'll definitely be there to uh, watch them play live. And after that, the second album we need to talk about uh, it's the al album Finding God Before God Finds Me by Bad Omens. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I did a reaction for all four singles. So there was Careful What You Wish For, The, he the Hell I Overcame, Said and Done, and Burning Out. Uh, I don't know why the song that touched me the most on this album is If I'm There, the last song on it, and I think the longest song on the album. Uh, I don't know when I was really not feeling well, I was always putting on that song just over and over and over again. I probably listened to it 30 times, probably already. <laughs> it's such a great song. Other than that, I really love Burning Out, Mercy, it's a great one, uh, The Hell I Overcame, Running in Circles, uh, and Deep Chrome. that's the heaviest song on the album. It's such a banger with only unclean vocals, such a great one. And even the first song on the album, Kingdom of Cars, it's just such a weird song. Uh, so at first I was like, what the fuck will this album be? But it's a great one and uh, it contains like my favorite lyrics on the album, so great stuff. After that, the third album I want to talk about, guys, is... Um, Alien by Nordplain. Uh I did not know what to expect with this album. The singles were great, especially 
uh, plot line and talking head. Vultures was great as well. Um, and on the first listen, I was like, what the fuck am I listening to? Especially with songs like uh, 4D. But after a couple of listens, I got used to it. Uh, I have to say that my favorite song of the album is probably the first one, Details Matter. It's such a weird song, but uh, really bringing something special to the table, so I love it. Also, I'm going to see North Lane in exactly 12 days with ERA, another band that I have grown to love uh, this year, so I'm super excited for that, and I'm sure that North Lane will play a lot of songs from the new album. Hopefully they'll play Details Matter, I would love to hear that live. After that, uh, we also have the new Volbeat album that was released uh, during that same week. Uh, I listened to it for the first time this week, but I've listened to it maybe three or four times already. Uh, I was really not a fan of the album that came out before uh, Seal the Deal and Let's Boogie. I don't know, it never really touched me in any way and I got bored of it really fast, unlike the album that came out before that, uh, Outlaw Gentleman and Shady Ladies. Uh, this one made me discover Volbeat and I was in love with it. Uh, this new one, Rewind, Replay, Rebound is way better than the last one I would say. Uh, I love so many songs on it, Last Day on Under the Sun is great, Pelvis on Fire is insane. Uh, Die to Live is such a weird song, but they did such a great job with it. Sorry Sack of Bones is probably my favorite song on the album. Uh, it's a weird one, they tried something completely new with it, uh, but the chorus is incredible. I could listen to this song all day, Cloud9 is great as well. Uh, the Everlasting is fantastic. So yeah, really good album, I'm really surprised that uh, they made me love this one because after uh, Seal the Deal and Let's Boogie, I was like, oh, maybe this band is just not for me anymore because now I listen to way more metal than I uh, was listening back in uh, 2013 with uh, Outlaw Gentleman album. Back then I was listening to more rock music, so I was like, maybe it's just that they were more for me back then, but now not that much. But with this album, I'm really happily surprised, so great job, Volbeat. Uh, after that, we need to talk about the brand new Slipknot album. At first, my initial idea was to uh, just do a reaction for each and every song of this album, but I was not feeling well at all. I just did not want to do any videos, so I just listened to it on my own and had fun with it still. But <laughs> yeah, my favorite song on this album are probably Unsaint. Uh, Nero Forte, this one is incredible, probably my favorite. Critical Darling, Red Flag, Orphan, uh, Soul Wave Firth, and Not Long for This World. Yeah, that one was incredible, so. Uh, but yeah, this new Slipknot album is really bringing something more uh, in the Slipknot discography, something different, something refreshing. Uh, and I'll do an episode in which I'll rank all the album from worst to best. I just need more time with it. Uh, I'm still not too sure where I would rank it compared to all the other Slipknot album, but we'll see guys. This video will come in the next few days maybe, or next week, I don't know. I just need to listen to it a bit more. And the last album I want to talk about in this video is um, Atonement by Killswitch Engage. One of my favorite band out there, one of my favorite metalcore band. Uh, and to be honest, I was not really that happy with the singles, they're good, uh, I was not like really disappointed or anything like that, but I was like, oh, they could do something a bit more interesting, Unleash is great, I Unbroken too as well, especially when you watch it with the music, when you listen to it with the music video, uh, but yeah, I feel like they, can, they could do something a bit more extreme in some way, they did that with the album, uh, the Signal Fire, the song with Howard Jones who uh, was with Kill Switch for three albums is incredible, I absolutely love it, uh, the featuring by Chuck Billy from Testament is also magnificent, uh, and I also really love Know Your Enemy, as, as sure as the sun will rise, I can be the only one, and uh, I thought I would love By The End That Feeds because it's probably the heaviest song on the album, but I don't know, it's just not catchy in my opinion, there's something missing in that song. And the album is great overall, would probably give it like 7 out of 10. It's a good album, it's decent, but 
I just feel like it's missing a small something, you know? Uh, to compare it with uh, Incarnate, I would not be really sure right now which one I prefer, but it's certainly not as good as this arm to descend. It's far from being as good, even though it's still pretty decent. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I don't know, I feel like I did a great job, especially with my English. Most of the time, I'm, I'm just like really struggling. And with this one, it was just like all natural, all going really well, really smooth. Maybe I'm just getting better or maybe it's because I'm filming this video in the morning for once and I'm not like tired of my day. I don't know. Uh, but I had fun doing this and hopefully you'll be a few to watch this one and uh, my biggest fear would be that this video only get like... 20 views and that's it that would be really sad anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here you can even like the video if you liked it obviously uh, but that's pretty much it thank you so much again i'll see you all next time